Hello, I'm Clarissa. And I'm Tisha. We are Year 7A from Sekolah Menengah Pengiran Jaya Negara Pengiran Haji Abu Bakar from the Blight Districts. In the conjunction of the Earth Day, which is held annually on the 22nd April, we are going to demonstrate some experiment which may save the environment. Okay, before we start, I have a solvent here. Do you know what it is? No. I don't know. Try guessing what it is. Which one? This one. Water? Nope. It's... Guess what it is? It's acetone. Acetone is flammable for information. Okay. I have some styrofoam that I get from the rubbish. Our main problem with styrofoam is it takes forever to decompose and it may overcrowd our landfill. So, I've come up with a solution to our problem. Therefore, what will happen next if I put this styrofoam inside this liquid called acetone? Okay, I need you to help me. Put this We can get acetone everywhere, and I mean nail polish in everywhere, like every shop. So, and it only takes a few dollars. So, ah. styrofoam is made up of long strain of polymers, and it has a lot of gas molecules in it. The gas molecules are able to escape, and the styrofoam dissolve in the acetone. This is a proper way to dispose large chunks of styrofoam. For our next experiment, we will be making our own batteries. I have these uh, man-made batteries that you get from shops. This kind of batteries produces toxic when we dispose it and it's all it also takes forever like it's it takes a long time to decompose it so we don't need these batteries if we can make our own batteries right all we need is mm -hmm. all we need is salt water crocodile clips and wires um, led led lights Okay, so we will continue. Next, we will be putting this copper and aluminium foil inside the cup. Alright, now we have finished putting all the copper and aluminium uh, foil inside the cup. We will connect the copper and aluminium foil to each other. Can you help me? Let's put it together. Make sure the copper and the aluminium foil doesn't touch each other inside the cup. If it touches each other, it won't work. Finish setting up our homemade battery. We will see if this homemade battery produces electricity. Um, by that, we will try to see if it lights up this LED light. Okay, Let's see if it lights. Up. Wow, magic! It lights. From here, you can see it clearly that the LED lights lights up with using this homemade battery. There is a chemical reaction takes place between two electrodes which is aluminium and copper. These two electrodes produce electricity. Aluminium give up the electrons and the electrons move through the wire into the LED lights towards the copper electrodes. The salt water reacts as an electrolyte. 
That's you can see this LED light when it's really dark and it's really bright right now so it's not really visible and if you want more voltage you can add in more cups As you can see, we have a few cans here with us. You can either recycle these cans or make it into something interesting that we can play. So, we decided to make a wind-up toy. The materials that we need is Hammer, straw, thread, rubber band, nail, cock, um, scissor, and Ken. This is what our wind-up toy looks like. Okay. Ah! We spin the straw. The potential elastic energy builds up when the when we release the straw. The potential and elastic energy is converted to kinetic energy. Remember, energy cannot be created or destroyed. They can only be converted into another form of energy. What are we going to do with all of these plastic bottles? We can recycle or we can make a rocket bottle. Then let's make a rocket bottle. Let's go and play with it. some fun with it okay so we're going to fill in this bottle with water not a lot just a little bit then we're gonna sit as we pump more air inside the bottle, the air pressure becomes greater. As the air pressure builds up, it pushes against the water. The friction of the cock stops the water until the pressure is too strong and shoves the cock out. Compared to the bottle, the water is heavy. So pushing water at a moderate speed backwards gives the bottle a lot of forward speed. Go out! You can reduce the amount of energy you use to cool and light your home when you spend time outside. Enjoy the sunshine and save energy! Okay. Thank you for watching and lending us your ears. We had fun doing this experiment. The equipment that we use in this experiment is around us and is used in daily life. We love science and science is fun! Goodbye! Goodbye.